Hello again from my front porch. Sorry, I've been uh, out of the loop for a while because uh, for a while there I was like cranking these things out almost every day uh, and now I've gone for a few days not making one. As you may be able to tell, a little congested sounding. I am uh, on the recovery end of having gone through at least a significant head cold. It may have been more than that. Um, but I'm, I'm glad to be feeling a little bit better today. I'm not 100% yet today, but enough that I'm heading on into the office. But I thought I want to let you all know that I'm alive because I'm sure you've all been going, where's a new front porch video? And you just, you know, it's hard to sleep at night because you're not seeing that. <laughs> anyway, so here I am. Hey, look, I'm still alive. Uh, and uh, as long as we're talking, I wanted to brag about some 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 new toys that, that that I've got. As you all know, I'm a big big fan of Agents of Shield, and and in fact, the one cosplay outfit that I, that I have that I try out a lot is I made my own my it's a, it's a variation of uh, Phil Coulson of replicating. Phil Coulson, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., his, his, his option, but Coulson, as you know, became, well, if you watch the show, ultimately became director of S.H.I.E.L.D. when Nick Fury handed him the, the reins and this special little toolbox, Fury's toolbox, that, that was like a little microcomputer full of all these different plan things that, you know, that when activated, it would put all of these images up and around in a very Tony Stark kind of way. Anyway, uh, and so what I decided was, I don't look like Clark Gregg, um, of which I did, it wouldn't be a bad look. <laughs> but, but I thought what I could do is I could just make myself another S.H.I.E.L.D. person who doesn't even ever get referenced. And so uh, I decided to, to create my own character and I started calling myself the Deputy Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, and so that's, that's the title that I carved out. And then even as S.H.I.E.L.D fell and people were in hiding and stuff. It's like, well, you know, my guy can be in hiding too. And then as S.H.I.E.L.D. came back out, it's like, okay, well, my guy can still be around. He's just, you don't see him because he's not a field guy. He's, he's behind the scenes keeping the wheels in the bus and that kind of stuff. Um, and so as S.H.I.E.L.D. has gone through its ups and downs, so has my character. Uh, and, and I even made a Twitter account for him so that, so that he's out there on Twitter. And during times when S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, takes a nosedive and goes off the radar on the show, uh, I stop posting on Twitter because, again, he's incognito. He's, he's under the radar. <laughs> so that's, that's uh, uh, what, what I've been doing with that. Anyway, the reason I'm babbling about all that is because it's where all of my new stuff comes from. So I got... I got these, uh, uh, the, the joys of eBay, uh, and, and I got these uh, folders. That, see, they're, they're, they're shield folders, the shield dossiers. And I say that because they don't just come, they don't just come with, with you know, cool folders, but inside, inside there are contents. And in this case, the contents, I have, a, I have uh, the ID cards of all of the agents of shield. The current agents of Shield. I have um, I have a brochure for safety instructions for the the Shield jet, the Quinjet that they use, or the bus actually, not the Quinjet. Quinjet's a smaller item. And then inside this particular file are a bunch of other documents where there's um, uh, profiles on the ver various members of the Shield team, uh, and then of course there's um, uh, other documents redacted documents and things that that are related to to shield so that's kind of fun but then I also oh, no, then I also have got have got this one uh, this one is a little bit different this is a file all mostly about Thor and so it's got in here uh, here's his here's his fake ID that he tried to use to get into the facility where they had his hammer here's Here's the, the, the odd image that was taken of Thor first arriving uh, to Earth. And then inside this folder is all, of, is all of this shield research on Thor's hammer and um, uh, the information about the Bifrost. Uh, there's uh, you know, some nice colors there. There's, whoops, that one's upside down. Um, and so you see, and then information on the Nine Realms. This is actually a copy of the drawing that Thor makes himself, which depicting the Nine Anyway, so you get the idea. All of these, all of this kind of documentation there. I, I think they're kind of fun. I know some of you are going to be looking at that and going, "What in the world are you doing with that stuff?" Well, I just think it's fun. I, I, I like it. Uh, but then also, uh, 
my character, my, my deputy director, he's been around for a while. He's, he, he, he and Phil Colson and, and Nick Fury and all of them, they go, they go way back. And so uh, when he first started with S.H.I.E.L.D., S.H.I.E.L.D. had a different look and feel, which we'll get to see a little bit of in the upcoming Captain Marvel movie, by the way, uh, what, what S.H.I.E.L.D. was more like, what S.H.I.E.L.D. agents were like at that time. But we do know that, that older, in fact, even at the point when we first meet Phil Coulson, the shield badges and everything looked a little bit different. Well, I found a guy on a Facebook group who actually was able to create, replicate those badges, and so here is my shield badge. This is my character's original shield badge, not the one that is used on the TV show now, on the logo and stuff now, the, the, the shield badge of, of, of contemporary time, but this is, this, is, this is his vintage shield badge. So there you go, he's got my vintage shield badge, but again, deputy director, he's behind the scenes, he's taking care of stuff. See, uh, remember I mentioned that Phil Coulson got this little toolbox thing, this little gadget from, from Nick Fury, and that it had all of this stuff in it that helped him do things like build a new helicarrier in private, uh, which then turned out to help save the day in the Avengers movie, The Age of Ultron. It was the helicarrier that wound up being used to save all of those people at the end of the movie. It's the helicarrier that Phil Coulson had built in secret on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And so uh, that's a big deal. But since then, that little box of Furies has disappeared. Nobody, nobody talks about it. It, it, it doesn't... Nobody's even talked about what happened to it, and the whole base where Shield was base what was in at that time has been destroyed, and, and they, they're not even there now anymore. That's not their base of operations. And so, what happened to Nick Fury's toolbox? I'm glad you asked, because look what I've got. I happen to be the possessor of Nick Fury's toolbox. There you are, right there. I. Uh huh. So all of that information, all of those files that Nick Fury gave to Phil Coulson. Deputy Director is now holding on to that. <laughs> now, if you're sitting there list, watching this and going, Paul, what are you going to do with all of those things? I have no idea, but that's not the point. The point is I enjoy them. They're fun. And sometimes that's what you have to do with life. Sometimes it's not about analyzing it. Sometimes it's not about having a reason. Sometimes it's not that there's, that there's any purpose to what you're doing other than you enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with doing something just for fun. And that's what this stuff is for me. It's fun. It's geeky fun, but it's fun. So with that, I'll see you next time from my front porch.